Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your twin flame reading for the end of November. All right, let's see. It doesn't matter if you're in separation or not, or if you have not met them yet. This could be something that's coming in for you. Um, keep that in mind, um, even if it doesn't make sense. Let's see what's going on for Virgo and their twin flame. I'm going to take these ones in upright and understanding. Somebody's understanding the connection. All right, recognition, recognition, recognizing. All right, Virgo? Either you or your person. This is all general at first. I'll get into it as we go. Either you or your person are just now finally understanding uh, what the hell this is, what happened, if there was a triggering. Or you may recognize your twin flame when you see them. Okay? Um, and you'll know. You'll know that this person is or was. Some of you, there could have been um, a false twin flame in the past, and this is a new one coming in for you. And you might be saying, oh, I understand why I went through what I went through in the past to prepare myself for what's coming in for me now. And um, But I do see a clear understanding of the connection, however that resonates. So let's just keep going. I have awakening. Somebody's awakening. Strong. Your divine masculine or feminine could be waking up and this is why it's coming in um i don't know if you've already triggered each other yet cards haven't shown that yet but i do see communication coming in so expect communication with your person i get summertime all right so i know you don't want to hear that but with these cards here and with the twin flame readings it can show you the energies that are right now which is an understanding recognizing and somebody's awakening right but these cards will also give me a time period like it just did the summer energy you could be connecting with a cancer um a leo or a virgo okay this could you know so around that energy around that time could be when you receive actual communication from this person you may have um been triggered already this person could have been triggered and ran you could have ran and it's going to take that six month period here for all this awakening to happen the process the to understand what's going on the changes and the shifts that's happening in the relationship all right could be with a capricorn as well too so let me pull sometimes these cards here will give me a little bit about what might have happened or what will happen um or could be happening now the runner as i said that the runner all right, so you may feel like this relationship is over or this person may have ended something, um, but it's talking about growing and transforming your life, okay? So this person or you could have ran and said, fuck this, I'm out of here, or will run, and this is where they have a fear of intimacy and they're listening to their ego, okay? They're, they're not wanting to deal with what's coming up. You may have mirrored something to this person. You guys mirror each other. You know, both of you may have saw something in, um, in yourselves that you did not want to deal with or see. And then we had the runner. But I do see a possibility here of a date. I see for some of you, you may be trying to get back out there. You might be planning or setting a date to go do something. You might be thinking that something's over and you're moving forward. Okay, and that's a possibility. And I'd say, you know, go for it, go do it, do what you gotta do. Okay, um, so there is a possibility you could meet somebody new. And I, I know I said to you earlier about a false twin flame. For some of you, there could have been a false twin flame and you're going on this date and this is where you may understand that this new person that you're meeting could possibly be the one. And you may understand maybe that past person was just a false or a karmic, okay? And um, however that resonates with you. But for many of you, you could just be thinking that this is over and you're going out there on a date. And then, you know, and this is this reading is going to show you that behind the scenes, the person that you really thought was your twin flame or really was is really doing the work and really awakening. I get cassette, I get outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So your person could be ruminating about the past, ruminating about what happened, thinking old thoughts, not, you know, and that's why they're going to come to an understanding. Maybe they ran because they were think they weren't thinking, they weren't on the same page as you. They didn't understand the process, right? And we do have the chaser here. Maybe some of you chased for a while, okay? And you couldn't get this person to understand what was happening. Have you ever felt like that? You know, you're like, I feel this. I know you've got to feel this. Don't you recognize what's happening here? Do you not feel, I mean, I know we all feel differently, but I know you felt the connection. You may have said so. You may have said something. You felt the change, the difference, but somebody, it was too much for them and ran. 
and but i see a relationship the butterfly here i love it because i have the butterfly right here for you virgo relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth and that comes along with a twin flame relationship when you choose to work within and do the work and all those things that came up or are coming up for you deciding to work on them is going to bring the rebirth the new birth and i have the coffin card here which is like the death and birth card you know bringing an end into the past cycle and moving it to the next so i'm going to pull two of these cards here which are going to show you virgo your person you can place the masculine and feminine wherever you want to okay this is going to show me the current energies that you guys are sitting in and then we'll dive in a little bit deeper and i'll get some messages from them emotions all right so emotions definitely are running high here on both sides so do know that All right, the Queen of Ear, here you are, Queen of Ear, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could have an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini on your mind, but you are in deep thought. You just, you're wise, very wise. You know what the hell is going on. You may have been more awakened to the situation than your person was, and that's why it was very confusing for you when this person ran, okay? You know, you're like, what, you know, what the hell? But you want justice here. You want things to balance out. You want things to, to heal. But I also feel like this is an opportunity for you to really become even more wise and take the knowledge, take the information in and really learn about what's going deep, going deep and analyzing the situation and really understanding the process. And for many of you, you may have already been doing this, okay? Your person, love, there's a lot of love. Love has been in, love, okay. Love has been ignited within them. They didn't feel this before. And they're finally coming to terms with what's happened you've triggered something in them they ran they were running from love they were running from the feelings that were coming up from them for them they were running they don't understand the depths of love you know that's part of the twin flame journey too is understanding self-love understanding how to live from love heart consciousness how to feel love and this person they were triggered into this explosion and now they're sitting in this energy of love and this awakening they're having it, the, the love as they become more, as they sit in this longer and they evolve, they are going to recognize the connection with you and how this connects to you. Even if you feel like it doesn't or they don't, they are going to, when they awaken, make the connection of when this started and how it started. That's how powerful these types of bonds are, okay? They can run all they want. And they can continue running. But in this read, it's showing somebody waking up, awakening, and recognizing, and coming to a loving and understanding, compassion. You've opened, you've activated their heart space. You've activated the heart chakra. You've activated love within them and a desire for love. And I wanted one more, which I've got the Nine of Cups, which is desire, wish fulfillment, a relationship. This is both your desire. This is both your ultimate desire to come in and, and once your person understands the connection and understands the depths of it, your wish will be fulfilled. Okay? It's beautiful, by the I didn't put the camera up enough so you can't see the top of my head. One more shuffle. These cards are getting so bent. One more, actually. Woo! So, Ace of Wands on your side, Two of Wands. And you have the High Priestess, which is a number two. Your person has the Page of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So there's three twos showing up here, right? Twos, unions, okay? And I have you holding back here because you just know. You have this hidden knowledge. You just know. You're trusting your intuition, okay? It could be with a Cancer, Cancer, thinking about a Cancer. Ace of Wands, right? Communication, it's manifesting, it's ignition, it's igniting. There's this passion within you. And you have the Two of Wands, planning and decision, right? You have a decision to make, you have a path to choose. 
you there is there could be a choice between two people if this other person does come in okay you could choose to follow your intuition but i feel like there is some hidden knowledge being hidden from you and that is where the page of cups comes in your person does have love for you a lot of love for you and you may be receiving a lot of communication from this person they're just balancing right now something's out of balance in their life the six of pentacles in reverse all right they have a lot going on in their life a lot of shifts happening in their lives and they're trying to bring harmony they don't understand what's going on completely just yet in the current energy a lot is happening but i do feel like ultimately when they get things balanced in their life when they can they might be balanced in work and love work and family finances okay not being able to give something's keeping them back from giving to this relationship just yet they just don't have it to give and they're still working through a lot okay but they will message you they will communicate with you and they will have because they're they're juggling right now you know maybe i'm feeling this connection i recognize this connection i'm starting to understand this connection but yet i can't give to it just yet what do i do but they will and i do feel like this is over the expansion of six months and I get the high priestess and the two of wands. You needing to make a decision here. You know, I can't get them off my mind, but do I want to excite? Do I want to start something new, a new passion, new life with somebody else? Do I want to move forward? Maybe you do. Maybe you will for the time being. Maybe that's okay. I said that and it was 1111 on the camera. Okay, so some hidden knowledge will come to you. Your intuition will tell you what to do. You will receive the answer you need, all right? But either path you take is okay. Either path is going to lead you to your wish fulfillment. Either path is going to bring you your heart's desire. Either path is going to bring you to this relationship, okay? And I just have just following your passion following your heart right now, following your passion, following your intuition. I have the sun card at the bottom here, which is a yes, all right, companionship, things working out for you. I have the ultimate outcomes, the Knight of Cups. So this could be, and this reading staying open for some reason like this. This could be a new person, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio coming in for you and you going on that new date and you starting out with somebody and you might be acknowledging that this could be a new twin flame or or this could be your actual twin flame and everything I said could be talking about this new person. This could be your past person too as well finally coming in and saying, you know, making a romantic gesture and saying I want to go down this path. I want I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. So expect a love offer, a big yes. Okay, so it's staying pretty general there with that, but there is a lot of love here from this person. Strong, watery energy and strong Aquarius Libra Gemini. And I do have Aries Leo Sag. And for many of you, there's just two people and you may choose to, um, to get in a relationship for the time being while your person's going through their healing process. You know, that's always a possibility. You've been in my dreams. My heart is telling me just do it, but I feel safer in the silence right now. A lot going on in your person's life. All right, lying to you was just easier for me than telling you the truth. And, but I'm in a much better headspace now. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Okay, that's what I have for you, <clears throat> Virgo. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments below. I love you. Take care.